Hello my YouTube friends. Today I want to show you an awesome plugin for OBS that's going to allow you to record all of your sources completely separate. That means you can stream everything but edit it later with camera footage, gameplay, or guest footage in totally separate videos with separate audio. And editing it all separately allows you to do a lot more complex content later. Oh, and by the way, it's totally free. So let's get to it. Today's video is sponsored by StreamTunes. Every live stream or video needs some sort of good music, right? But how do you find good music for free that's not gonna get you strikes to your live streams or your video? Today's sponsor, StreamTunes, is the answer. Now, StreamTunes is a 100% free platform of high quality DMCA safe music. And it's always free. No strings attached, no bogus signups, nothing. Just free. Not only that, but StreamTunes is available on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and most, if not all, streaming services, including YouTube Music. And they have a library of more than 800 songs, and it's growing by the day. Another really cool part about StreamTunes is that every time you play their songs on any of the services, a donation is made to Music Counts. And this charity helps to keep music programs going in high schools all over Canada. And that's just awesome. Be sure to check out StreamTunes for yourself. There is a link in the description. And like I said, it's totally 100% free. So let's install the Source Record plugin. All right, so we're gonna go to this page here. The link is in the description. We're gonna click Download. And we're gonna download the installer. There is also a zip file in a Mac OS package that will do an install. And also, this is available for Linux. So we're gonna go and download our Windows installer. And we're just gonna save the file and click OK. Then we are going to go into our downloads and we'll double click on the installer and there is an exe file in there because of course the installer is zipped so what you may have to do is go ahead and right click and extract your installer and then go into that folder and install now you're going to get this because it is an unsigned program there is no reason for a small developer who's making a free tool to sign their program and pay all that money to microsoft so you can just click more info and click run anyway this does not mean this program program has any sort of virus at all. It just means it's unsigned by Microsoft. Now you want to make sure that this is where your OBS studio is located. Most of the time, your OBS studio is going to be located in C program files, and it'll be in here. It will be OBS-Studio. That is not where mine is located, but I just want to make sure you are aware that that might be where yours is located. And then you just click Next, and it already exists, of course. So yes, we want you to install install in that folder and they're going to create a program shortcut and all that kind of stuff. Just click install and finish and there we go. So now source record is installed into our OBS. Now we're ready to set it up in OBS. Okay, so I set up a simple quick scene right here. My video's in here and then we've got Divinity. Just so you can see how I have this set up, right here is this overlay with my name. Uh, and then we've got our game audio which is capturing the audio from Divinity. And you can see that playing right here. Uh, and then of course I have that being captured. The game video is being captured on display capture. And then my camera of course is right here. So that is everything that we have going on in here. So we wanna be able to record separately the game footage, my video footage, so we can absolutely do this. We're gonna go and we're gonna right click on my camera first and we're gonna go into filters and we're gonna go here and click the plus under effects filters and we're going to add a source record. Now, right off the bat, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna click off the eyeball. That means it's not gonna start to record before we get in here and figure everything out. So here we wanna select our record mode. So always means, as long as this eyeball is on, it's gonna record this source. Uh, I don't know whether you'd wanna use that, and of course, you can go in there and set up hot keys to turn it on and off and stuff like that. But I thought kind of the easiest way around this is to go down here and select recording. But there is also streaming, so you can set it up so when you're streaming, it will automatically record this source. And then there is streaming or recording, which will record it no matter which one you select. So we're gonna select recording for the purposes of this example. And my record format is gonna be MP4. That's what I use, but you can use any recording format. And for this, we're gonna call this camera. 
And so that means every file that we create is going to name it camera, whatever the number is. And we're just gonna select the location for our recording. In this case, I'm gonna just choose this folder here. All right, so now we're set up to record in a specific location. We can actually use the replay buffer with this if we like. I'm not gonna set that up. If you're interested in learning how to use the replay buffer, there will be a link in the description to the replay buffer video that I did if you wanna check out how that works. We move down a little farther and stream, we're not going to set up we've selected record. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna to go to different audio. Now we don't need to set up different audio because we are using our camera, but I like to set this up anyways, just because I wanna make sure that it goes right. So I'm gonna select my source, which is cam, and there we go. It's gonna select the audio that I selected in cam. We're not gonna have any problems. I'm gonna select the encoder here. Now I know that the NVIC new encoder gives some kind of weird issues with this particular software. So we're just gonna select the NVIC. You might also select X264 or the AMD encoder. It really depends which one you have. Now I can go down here and select how I want this to record. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on CBR, which is constant bit rate. And I'm gonna set this at 60,000. And there we go, high quality. I'm gonna select max quality there. Profile high, the GPU is I only have one, so we're gonna select that. And there we go. So now we have this all set up and it's set to begin on recording so I can go over and click my eyeball. We're good to go and click close. So now we have something that's gonna record my camera and we wanna record our game footage separately. So we're gonna go ahead to the display capture here, which is our game footage. We're gonna right click on that and we're gonna to go to our filters once again. We're gonna click the plus on filters and select source record. And here I'm gonna go ahead and select recording again. I'm gonna select our file location, which we want it to record, which is this one right here. And we're gonna call this one game. And I like the MP4 file format, but you can select whatever you want. Some of those other ones you might prefer. MP4 works for me. I'm gonna go down here to different audio. And in this case, uh, display capture isn't gonna give me audio. So I have the audio coming in on a separate source. So I need to select that. And we're gonna stick with audio track one. We're gonna drop the source down and we're gonna select our game audio here. And then we're going to select our NVIC encoder and we're gonna go ahead and keep it CBR. I'm gonna give it that 60,000 once again and max quality high, psycho visual tuning, all that stuff is already set. So. Now we are set up, we can just click the record button and we're going to get Divinity and our video camera on two different scenes. So let's just see how this works and we can go and play our game. And now it should be recording my webcam as well as the game footage. And of course the whole screen at the same time. So we're gonna click continue up here. We're gonna get it to rock and roll so that we can see what this footage looks like and make sure nothing is gonna stutter or look weird. Of course the game is gonna take some time to load. And that's because I'm recording me talking to you over here while I'm recording three recordings over here on this side. So of course it's gonna be a little weird, but we haven't crashed yet, so we're probably gonna be okay. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> Given the age of this machine, I'm kind of surprised it's recording four things at once and willing to try to play this game. So that's always cool. But as you can see, we can move around in the game. It's all coming up on the screen and that looks pretty good. It's doing what it's supposed to do. So, you know, let's stop the recording and see what we get. And we're going to open up right here. And here we see our game footage. We see our camera footage and we see our recording of everything together. So if we take a look at our camera footage, we can see that it's the full screen. There's no crop or anything. So even though we have a crop right here at the top, we don't have a crop in the footage that's recorded. It records the actual full recording. And when we go into the game, there we go. We can see everything is working in that recording. It looks fantastic. We haven't lost any of the fidelity. It looks really nice. It records exactly as we saw it on the screen, which depending upon what your machine runs like, well, there's that. Both of these do have the audio in them. And then we have the full file with everything recorded together. 
and this looks pretty good. There we go. Fantastic. So I've also had people who asked about recording sources. They wanted to record a source that wasn't necessarily on screen. And that's really simple. So I could do a couple of different things. I can move my camera below my display capture and just disable my overlay. And now if I record, it's still gonna record my full camera cause it's in the scene, but it's not actually gonna be visible on the stream if I were to stream this. I can also move my camera up here, but I can just move it off to the side right here so that it's not visible on the screen and I can still do the source record. Let me just show you really quickly how that's gonna work. So I'll just click start recording and you're gonna be able to see that it's recording both my off screen piece and of course the piece that's on the screen. I'll stop the recording, go in here and here is the camera footage of me recording off the screen. So you can see they're very short, but it recorded both. Now, just so you can see what happened, it just recorded over the screen recordings that I already have. So if I start recording again, what you're going to see is it's going to basically create a new one of these because it has all those percentage -y things in there. It's right there, but it's going to record over the game and the screen footage. So the way to get around that, right click on cam, go into filters, go into source record, and what you want to do is reset the defaults which is what i'm going to do here and you get all this stuff and so this is your time and date and all that kind of stuff so you've got your time your date your hour your minutes your seconds what i would probably do is just delete this and put cam in here and there we go so now we're going to get a unique recording every single time and we want to go ahead and put our video in but you get you get the point leave the hours minutes and seconds in there and then when you record, it's gonna give you a new recording each time instead of the situation that we're running into right now where it's just re-recording over camera and game because that's all we put in there. Now, the last thing you should be aware of is that I noticed that each encoder can really only record three episodes of Source. And I noticed this only because in my regular recording here, it's recording the complete overlay and everything. It's recording my video source and it's recording my game source. But I'm also recording this entire screen using OBS on another screen. So when I recorded that, it would leave out the camera. In other words, it wasn't recording the camera. So until I actually changed my encoder on the other one to X264, it wouldn't record all of the sources. The bottom line is that it looks like Envic is only capable, at least on my video card, which is an old 970, of recording three sources on the same encoder. When I switched over and recorded one on X264, I was able to record four, and you can probably record a lot more, as long as your machine has the capabilities of doing it. And that really is the bottom line. If your machine can't handle recording the three, you're gonna struggle, have all kinds of problems, it's gonna be jumping around and everything else. So this might not be something you're going to do on a laptop without any sort of graphics card or something like that. This is going to be something that if you're a gamer anyways, you probably already have the equipment because you're using an NVIDIA graphics card and it shouldn't really be any problem whatsoever. Awesome. If you want to see how to set up instant replay for your recordings, you should definitely check this video out. Big thanks to StreamTunes for sponsoring this video. There are links to StreamTunes and all of our other sponsors in the description below under the heading Sponsors. Supporting the sponsors that help keep the lights on here in the studio is a great way to make sure that I can continue to make content that helps you. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.